This is part three in the video series showing you how you can use the Excel conditional formatting icon sets in Power BI. We've already seen how to create an icon set using DAX measures and create totally custom icon sets using the query editor. But let's see how we can do this by combining Excel with Power BI. Now, one of the super strengths of Power BI is the ability to publish your model and use that as a single source of truth with the visualization tool of your choice. You can create Power BI reports and dashboards, but you can also use Excel and other tools. And I love using Excel as a reporting tool. I have years of experience using Excel and I love it. When I need a pivot table, I need an Excel pivot table. Nothing else would do. And you can have that too. And you can use all of your Excel tips and tricks. But remember, the key that makes it work is the single source of truth. I speak a lot about it in my other videos, in my webinars, inside my course, wherever I get a chance. Now, this is what you need to do to combine Power BI and Excel and get the best of both worlds, the strength and the agility. Now, I want you to go to your Power BI desktop model and locate the publish button right in the center over there. And then you're going to click it and walk through the prompts. And once that's done, your model would have been published to PowerBI.com. Now, there are other on-premise options as well. Uh, but, you know, here, let's walk through the PowerBI.com example. Now, once it's published up there, you can click on find your data set, click on the ellipses next to it, and then click the analyze in Excel button. Now you can use this to create not just one, but multiple Excel reports connected to this same source back here, the published data model. Now once you click analyze in Excel, is gonna essentially open an Excel file with a pivot table connected to the Power BI model in the cloud. How cool and awesome is that? And once you have that, you are pretty much free to do anything you can in Excel. And of course, we have the icon sets available to us. Here's a quick report. Let me just show to the demo uh, for you. That was just a screenshot and show you what it looks like to combine Power BI with Excel. So here is my pivot table. And yep, it's got all the fields that were in my model, all the measures, all the fields are there. I can just slice and dice, create anything that I want. And here I have the pivot table and it's fully interactive. I have slicers so I can say, yep, you know, show me 2015, show me 2014, or, you know, slice and dice, show me bikes, show me mountain bikes, and the pivot table responds right away. And of course, not just that, if I wanted to, I can really reshape this and build whatever I want. And that's what I call it the best of both worlds, because remember the magic of Power BI, the magic is in the measures, right? DAX measures let you define once use everywhere. So if you wanted to change the shape or do something else with this table, it's just drag and drop. It's like, you know, being in a grocery store and you're like, hey, what do you want in your shopping cart? If you don't want the months, you want to show it by quarter, let's do quarters. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to unselect month. And instead, I'm going to drag quarter in. And all of my measures work. So you have the magic of your Power BI DAX measures and you have the flexibility and all the options available inside of Excel. You can, and I'm simply using the existing Excel icon set. But let me show you my favorite, favorite part. Are you ready? Oh boy, this is big. All right, so I'm gonna to go to the file menu and look at the info. There's one piece which is again, truly magical. Let me zoom in for you. Let's see if you can see it. Look at the size, 27.8 kilobytes. What's happening here? I mean, my data set, gosh, this is AdventureWorks, but uh, I don't know, it was about 50 megabytes. The report is simply a thin report connected to that single source of truth. That single source of truth resides in the cloud and it's gonna feed all of your reports. So your reports are wafer thin, they're light. And I, I love working on light reports. They're just this light layer. I can quickly change them, save them quickly, share them, upload them. 
And all of it is connected to that single source of truth, all of my reports, all of the Excel uh, or Power BI, and, and this is why it's great. Imagine you need to make a change, you need to fix a measure, you do it once in one place, and all of your reports are automatically fixed. Compare that to the old world where you had formulas and endless formulas and sheets and endless sheets and workbooks and endless workbooks. And now you have a single source of truth powering all of your reports in the visualization tool of your choice. If you want to use Excel, if you want to use any functionality in Excel, go use Excel. So my friends, now we have seen three different ways to try to do the icon sets in Power BI, but really number three is my favorite. And you can only do this when you combine Power BI and Excel. Power on, my friends. Hey, keep watching more videos and keep learning Power BI. But if you did enjoy this video, I would love to hear from you. So leave a comment, like, subscribe, all the good stuff. Power on, my friends.